Who the heck is Jimmy Pesto? It's <laughs> talking about Bob's Burgers, a show I've seen approximately two episodes of and have talked about for five hours as being, not being emblematic of being a bad show, but being emblematic of a show that I simply don't want to watch, okay? I'm just saying, now everybody's talking about Jimmy Pesto. Who the heck is Jimmy Pesto, man? Jimmy Pesto went to January 6th? Is January 6th like a restaurant or was it the, the insurrection? Because I would hate to go to my favorite restaurant January 6th and then have people think that I was trying to overthrow the Capitol. <laughs> just because they've got great rigatoni pomodoro. Anyway, let's play some sap. Hmm, I'm thinking ferret. I'm thinking you freeze your other ferret for now. I'm thinking you buy a kiwi and you pray for some strawberries later. The kind you'd get at a second-hand store. Okay, send me. How about an offensive chestnut? Like one that's roasting on a closed fire, for example? You got me, kid? You didn't get me, kid. We draw. Just like my favorite Malaysian restaurant, John 316. I was in that area yesterday. I saw John 316. And then I was like, maybe I should get lunch there. I've never had like Malaysian food, I think. But then I was like, ah, I bet it'll take too long to come out. So I just went to a, I went to a different establishment. You were in Malaysia? No, this is in like the Fairview area of Vancouver. I didn't go to Subway, I told you. I went to a place that ended up being worse than Subway, as crazy as that sounds. Okay, send me. How is that possible? You tell me, brother. <laughs> you tell me. Oh, baby, a oh, win. I was also in a, a different part of Vancouver yesterday and I saw something I had not seen in a long time. A new subway. I didn't even know they were making new subways. I thought that every subway opened sometime between like 1980 and 2014 and they were just kind of riding out the inertia. I saw a subway that had a sign that said now open, which is like insane to me. Oh, I'll take a garlic press without a doubt. I will take this without a doubt. I will add you on top without a doubt. Oh, I'm not that interested in you. I'm very interested in you, though. I'm mean, not the pill yet. No, no, I'm not interested. Okay. It's 10x cheaper to open a Subway compared to a McDonald's. It's kind of a whole thing. Yeah, but unlike um, Subway, like people actually, some people at least, like to eat at McDonald's. Whereas, like, people have not enjoyed eating at a Subway for, like, at least five years, but probably more. Sell me, place me, buy me, sell me, buy me, sell me, buy me, garlic me. I'm gonna give this to you for now. I'm not gonna, I'll probably pill you soon. Ooh, gonna pee, pee. Okay, fine. Fine, you know you can, I, I get that the dove's not getting an effect, but the garlic's gonna be crazy. I got my favorite sandwich at Subway and it sucked. How could, first off, that sentence just by itself is hilarious. But secondly, your, your question is very valid. Right after that, you said, how can it suck so much when it's $18? I, I'm in exactly the same. It's kind of crazy. Okay, so yesterday, like I had very important, I'm, I'm not being parasocial. I took yesterday off because I have very important stuff to do that took a while that fell right in the middle of my stream time. So I would have like bisected the day in a very awkward way, okay? But that meant I had time in the morning where I didn't normally have time in the morning. So I said, hey, Kate, what do you think? Like, we don't get this opportunity too much. You want to go for like a, a morning sort of couple date? You know, it's not really a date because it was at like 9.45 a.m. But it, it's kind of a date, I suppose. 
So we went out and we got brunch at a restaurant that we used to go to. It's a pretty fancy restaurant. We went there 10 years ago, like once a month. It was kind of like an old haunt, right? The breakfast, the brunch, I should say, that I got at the restaurant was the same price as a footlong sandwich from Subway. Something ha I'm not saying restaurants have gotten cheaper and then like fast food's gotten more expensive, but the Subway inflation is crazy compared to the inflation of like normal sit-down dining, which has still inflated a, you know, a reasonable amount given the conditions that they've been in, but Subway has gone insane. I mean, like 10 years ago, we were still getting the occasional $5 footlong. Now a footlong's like, I mean, in Canada, a footlong's like 15 to 17.50. It's, it's insanity. Give me, I'll, I'll take garlic press once more. I will take an antelope. And then truth be told, I don't know what to put in our other position here. Overriding the meat's probably fine. It's mostly, it's just crazy to, to think that the restaurant, like, you'd almost have to, like, try to be that bad. Why do you keep going there? Well, I don't. The last time I went there was, like, six weeks ago, and I'm never going back. I had the option to go to a new one yesterday. I said, screw that. I went to another sandwich place. Again, that sandwich place ended up being basically the same price as Subway, but then also like not as big and not as good. So I said, all right, this place is cooked too. I don't know, maybe there's like a, <laughs> you, maybe there's been a cluster of supply crunches that have really affected the entire sandwich process, but. Okay, you're getting buffed. But like, I, I want to tell Subway like, Bit of a waste here, but I want to tell Subway that like I feel for you that maybe like conditions in the macro sandwich market have changed, but you're a corporation. You're supposed to eat that and keep prices like low enough that I get tricked into buying your shitty food. I'm sorry, like a local business can can tug on the heartstrings and be like, please, we've lived in this neighborhood for like 80 years. Just pay a couple of extra bucks to get a sandwich from us instead of like a conglomerate. But if you're Subway, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta eat shit. Sorry, like you can't be like, our profits are down. We're gonna raise the the price of the sandwiches by like thirty percent. This is like, well, then you'll you'll be seeing my ass at your restaurant zero percent. And that's exactly how that's gone down so far. We need a toy. We we, we need a toy. You're not a toy user. Sucks to be you. We need a toy. We need a toy. You know what? You're gone. You're here. Forget that. The turkey is just to create a pivot for us. I'm, you better not mention Subway again or I'm pulling the clip. What are you talking about? You, you made your own Subway tweet recently. Librarian, you know that you, right now it's all shits and giggles. Eventually, you're going to put out a video that's like a, du uh, a duplicate theme of a video you've already put out, and then you're going to understand what it's, go it's like to be me. Okay, my wife just needs me for a second. I, w I had more constructed for that bit, okay? I'll be right back.
I don't want to brag, but my wife needed me. <laughs> also, she said, I don't understand why they don't just make the camping bag bigger. And I was like, thank you. Everybody here is on the same page. Why do they make you pack it so freaking tight, man? Doesn't make any sense. Nah, we don't need you. We still, I know a toy would be nice, but not you. We don't have a toy yet, so I'm not going. We're going to find something. We don't have it yet, but we're going to get, this is a good start. That's another good one. And maybe this. We're probably not going to pill a turtle. Anyway, <laughs> librarian. I'm just saying, right now it's all fun and games. Because you're the critical darling and I'm the old, stale piece of garbage. But one day you're going to make the same joke three times in very, in just... It's just a sliver too thin of a margin. People are gonna be on your ass. Really? Another video about this? Wow, he really used the Tuhu animation again. Get some new material. I'm just saying, I'm not coming at you. I'm just saying, look at this is the future that's ahead of you. So we should be, our, our interests should be aligned as opposed to being uh, opposed to one another, okay? Because in this business, you need all the help you can get. I'm gonna try something a little crazy here. I, I would love to run an octopus, just because octopus is fun. Read the review on the tent. Can you link me to the review on the tent, in which case I, I may read it? That was like a shot of adrenaline. <laughs> That's, I... You might think that I feel bad about this, but it actually feels so good. And I think that that means that there's a problem with me. But when like someone's being annoying in chat for like hours or, or weeks, and then you make fun of them, but in a way that's actually like kind of civil, like you didn't cross the line and say like, hey, you're being annoying. You made some jokes at their expense. And then like two minutes later, chat's like, oh, that person you made fun of left. You might think that that would make me feel bad. It makes me feel great. It makes me feel fantastic. Because it's not mean. They're being annoying. <laughs> and then you're like, stop doing that. And they're like, how dare you tell me what to do? My feelings are hurt. I'm going to go. And I'm like, okay, if that's the ultimatum, then I'll, then I'll see ya. This, the shoe bill is good this week. But it's not the only way, okay? I know that that's going to seem like a crazy move we just pulled there, but I'm telling you. Putting this tent back in the bag is almost like trying to put an elastic band around an alligator's mouth. That's, that's an insanely funny review. And also the way that I feel about all camping gear. Chad will tell you. They'll, they'll tell you that while I was watching you trying to fold that tent, I was like, I don't understand why all camping gear is like, it has to be hermetically sealed, like it just came off the assembly line in order to get it back in the storage bag. I get that you, you don't want to have to store the tent completely unfolded because it would take up too much space, but like, not everything needs to be so tight that... Who's the guy who does all the like, uh, sub-zero swimming? <laughs> Wim Hof? so that Wim Hof can fit it in his backpack so he can carry it up to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro, right? Like we're literally just in provincial parks, man. It's too much, it's, it's, it's just too much. And I swear, it's just like a damn pill, man. Instead of making me better, it's making me freaking ill. Check this out. How about a scorpion? I.e. start a battle, take some of this. Actually, you know what? Maybe you should be the scorpion. 
Did you ever realize you were a scorpion in their eyes? What do you got here? You got some television? Who do you think you are? Tom Verlaine? Ooh. Wait, is that what he's saying? Is he saying get alone, Kid Charlemagne? I always thought he was saying, get along. Get along, get along, King Charlemagne. Get along, King Charlemagne. Oh, that's my little joke. Okay. All right. All right. I see. It was a little joke. I understand now. Delightful. I love that for you. Oh, I would love an octopus, please. I see exactly how this is going. And you know what? Forget your melon, brother. Actually, you know what? Maybe you take this for now. That's just good resource management. That's not an octopus? Well, it kind of is an octopus, if you think about it. What's its effect? Its effect is being an octopus. Favorite television song? It's like asking me like, what my favorite gas to breathe is. Like, I know you guys might have a different answer, but for me, it's like air. The answer is Marquee Moon. It's just the right answer. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. I never thought I could be so free. Walking along on a ring and a bear. Who could it be? Oh, you're also a large man, huh? I never thought I could trick or treat. Wait, does he say trick or treat? I thought, or does she say, wait, does he say, wait, the, the show was called That Girl and there was a man singing the theme song? That doesn't seem right. We have to cancel the guy from That Girl. All the comments on this video about folding the tent are like, the person who made this video should receive the Nobel Prize. <laughs> okay, you have no idea like how validating it is to hear you complain about how hard it is to fold up a piece of camping equipment. Cause you're the one who's good at folding the camping equipment. I'm not saying like I'm rooting for your demise, it's quite the opposite. But to hear you have the same problems with the equipment that I have makes me feel more normal. Which is rare <laughs> for me. Um, I never thought I could feel so free Walking along on a wing and a prayer who could it be me, me also failing to fold the tent? Believe it or not, it's just me. You don't have a coconut, so for now, take this. Holy cow, Obama's here. Hello, Obama. Peanut coconut, oh, I peanut my coconut. <laughs> Oh, I peanutted my coconut. And yet? And yet? Hello, Obama. Welcome to the, welcome to the stream. Hey, Obama, how does it feel to be uh, blown the frick out by boy genius? Former US president gets back blown out by boy genius. <laughs> Anybody? Anybody? With, see, Nobody? Nobody. Oh, whoa, don't, whoa, 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 whoa. I see what I did there. I see what happened there. You're good. <laughs> I'm not proud of myself for this one, but. <sighs> you know what? Can I, can I say something? And I'm, I'm sure that people will uh, be annoyed by this statement. And I accept that I'm annoying sometimes. In fact, I'm more than accepted. To be honest with you, sometimes I kind of enjoy it. I'm, I agree with this chat on many things, political and apolitical. Nothing's apolitical. Shut the fuck up, okay? I'm making a joke here. Posting anti-police rhetoric as a response to the cop 
getting yeeted out of the slide like an action figure in a gotcha machine is mega cringe. Even if he weren't a cop, it would be really, really fun. It would be funny if it was the best person on earth. If it was a, a hero, if it was like a firefighter who saved a hundred orphans from a burning building, if his ass got shot out of the slide the same way that the cop did, it would still be hilarious. Now, is it funnier that it's an officer of the law in uniform? Yes. Everybody gets it. You don't need to make a joke about it after it and be like, you know, this is why we hate the police. It's already the funniest thing that's ever happened, okay? You're actually making it worse by trying to like amplify, to, by trying to make it a more like a dunk or something like that. You're making it worse. This is something that should be able to unite both sides of the aisle, okay? Marjorie Taylor Greene and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez should be watching the video on Tom Daschle's phone and all three of them should be laughing at it because it's funny, okay? I don't even know if Tom Daschle is still alive. I was asked to consider, like I, I asked myself to come up with a politician who was in like Congress. My brain spit out, it said, um, 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 Tom Daschle? Watch this shit. This ain't gonna work. <laughs> I'm not even, forget this guy. Don't even worry about this guy right now, okay? He doesn't concede. In fact, he's gone because we're gonna overwrite his piece of equipment anyway. That's the most relevant pickup here. Yes, but the bacon grease means he slides better. No, you don't understand. When you thought that what I was saying didn't apply to you, that's like exactly the joke that I'm saying does apply. That's the, the joke, your, your response to the video is less funny than the original video itself, and as a result, you're making the original video worse, and I'm asking you to stop. Oh, 10-piece me! And you all thought I was washed. Now that was huge. And this is even huger. Plus it's a Friday. A 10 piece on a Friday is, is nutty. Can it be like a green piece? <laughs> I am from Vancouver. Okay, so there's never a good time to say this to chat. There's a, it's actually like the perfect time for me to feel it. We're, I'm not gonna be here next week. We're going away for next week. We're taking a little trip with our daughter and our nieces. Kate, are you still in the chat? How are we gonna do this? Are you gonna shave my back before we go? Cause we might be at a swimming pool, right? If we are at a swimming pool, the front of my torso is already shaved, but the back is obviously like I can't reach it. So what are we gonna do about this? Why do you care? Well, it's just like being hairy is not bad and being hairless isn't bad, but like one side hairy, one side hairless is like a little much. I'd rather just at least have them be at roughly the same level. She's gone. She's gone, my heart. I loved her. That's a lesson to not shave the front. Nah, man, it's like, it's hot out there. Shaving the front, that's the thing that's gonna keep happening for now. The back's just like, it's most of the time it doesn't matter because I'm not taking my shirt off like at a public pool or something like that because I'm not going to a public pool. But I may find myself at a pool next week. And as a result, I'm not gonna be the guy who's wearing his shirt at the pool. Why do you think I'm doing 90 minutes of cardiovascular exercise seven days a week? I don't know, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Plus you're snatched. I'm just gonna be honest. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna say thank you. Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know what it means. I don't know what it means. 
This is not a good position right here. It means yolked. That's what snatched means? Somebody tell Guy Ritchie. I was going to say Guy Fieri. Like, it means like trim. It means you got a small waist and a big caboose. <laughs> what, what is... How does... What is it was snatched? Does it, what's, what's, the, what's the reasoning? What's the methodology? I've heard of a gyat. I don't know if I would describe myself as that. <laughs> yeah, I'm on Twitter. I understand the parlance. You're so old. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm, so, I'm clearly so young. Otherwise, how would I know what a gyat is? And at least that one made sense to me. Because isn't it you would see an attractive lady walk by and perhaps an old man might say, God damn, or something like that? So it kind of makes sense to me. But snatched is like completely out of left field. I have no idea. Okay, he does get it. I'm so back! Um, here, let's try something a little out of the blue here. The way he says it? Listen, I don't have any control over that, okay? Like, I am what I am. Get damn, where's my get damn Caesar salad? You know, my kids are always saying get, get, get. That girl's a get. You know what's a get? My Caesar salad's a get because it took get damn forever to come out of the kitchen. It's like, what are they doing? Growing the lettuce themselves back there? Here's an interesting way to play video games. Can someone just lie to me and say, like, I'm from Wisconsin and this bit is hilarious? <laughs> Can you just lie to me? Could you just talk to me? Tell me your name. Na, 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 like it's all the same. Hey, uh, librarian, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Sorry about all that messed up shit that I said about you earlier. It wasn't about you. It was about me, as you know. You ever think about how funny... The um, Ricky Martin song, Shake Your Bomb Bon is. Not very often. I think it's really funny. There's a lot that's funny about it. One is the idea of Ricky Martin as a Lothario, which I don't mean to be rude. But, you know, when he was at the height of his popularity, he was presented as like the peak of male sexuality in the eyes of a woman. He's presented as an object of, of female desire, which is fine, females may have desired him, but you know, you don't think you need me to tell you. <laughs> Probably some men too. Well, I hope so, because uh, well, I think that's what he prefers. I think his, by his own admission, okay? But also, he, I mean, he did have that song, She Bangs, She Bangs, which makes it funnier as well. But either way, so first, hello? I thought I heard like a scream. Everything okay? Okay. That's probably all right. You guys ever seen Annihilation? Let's go! Was that the Yelp that I heard? It was a person outside. What? <laughs> oh, okay. She does. She has sweat on her upper brow, or upper lip, I should say. We'll go around the world in a day. Don't say no when you're shake a bomb, bed, oh, shake a bomb. <laughs> yeah, the faucet uh, broke this morning. Huh? Don't we'll, we'll get we'll fix it when we get back. Don't sweat it. I got another sink down here. It it just spins. I've I know you're going under the sink right now. I've done the same thing. I believe it will require us to unscrew those wooden or those metal. 
uh, chains and then take the whole sink off in order to just reaffix the screw that's in there. You fixed it? How'd you do that? Why are you washing your face in my office? You came in from, you came in from the door, walked down the stairs past the bathroom to wash your face in this sink where there's not even like a towel or soap or anything. <laughs> That's crazy, man. She got me good. I'm glad she fixed my, uh, she fixed my sink, though. Oh, I can't believe she washed her face in my... It, like, that's a... It's not a huge deal, but at the same time, it's just sort of like... She didn't have to do that. Kate, did you hear what I said, by the way? What are we... Yeah, don't, where are you going? Don't walk away from me! What are we going to do? Because um, when we're gone... We're gonna be at like a swimming pool one of the days, right? Two days? You gotta shave my back if possible. No way. No way? But li I heard you say on your stream when you thought I was not at my PC, I heard you say, I don't understand why he doesn't just ask me to shave his back. And then I believe you said, it, he looks so funny, which is not the kind of thing I know, that's why I need you to shave my back, because I can't reach it. The reason I didn't ask you to shave my back is because I was like, I don't want to subject her to having to shave my back. But then, she said it looks funny, so I'm like, alright, screw that, shave my back. <laughs> you reap what you sow. Okay, not on stream though. <laughs> It's kind of nice, honestly. Kind of feels, it feels kind of nice. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that is. You can shave my front too if you want. <laughs> that's, that's okay. Ooh. You see this guy? Oh, he's gone now. He gone. He went through this. Yeah, he's he's crazy. Well, you probably need to get that fixed. Okay. I, yeah. I know how to work it, but probably need to get fixed. I think honestly, it's just gonna take us like thirty minutes with the two of us unhooking the sink and I'm sure it's just the screw to tighten and then we put it Be back. crazy. We ain't doing that. We're calling somebody. All right. I could do that too. I'm pretty good on the phone. Why are you laughing? <laughs> when people would call my house when I was a kid, they would always then tell my mom. Like if I picked up, they would always tell my mom like, oh, your son is really good on the phone. That's all I'm saying. What did you say on the phone? Hello? Yeah, who's speaking? She's not here right now, but can I take a message? <laughs> Stuff like that. How are we gonna do that to the fixer guy? Hello? Well, I'm just, if you can handle can you one- Can my mom? If you can handle one side of the phone, you can handle the other side. Can you tell the story of how the dog bit your face? No, because I was like two when it happened. So I don't know the story. Your mom told us. Yeah, but I, I don't, she lived it. She should tell the story. Did you tell the story when the dog bit your butt? Yeah, like a hundred times in the last five years. Oh, okay. That's a good story. I don't know. I have a couple stories. They, they get conflated too. Like I have a, a few scars. So it's not like I was in battle. It's just like, you know, from day to day existence. I like didn't know where they came from and then every once in a while my mom will like bust out a story and she'll be like Oh, yeah, that scar on your thumb is from when you were two and you like took the barbecue Lighter and ignited the barbecue after it filled with propane gas and I was like what the hell were you doing? How did how did I how was I unsupervised long enough to like? Start a barbecue It's crazy. I could have like blown up our our whole house That's true. Someone said 90s, lol, I can't. He's 80s, 80s boy. Well, this would, this would have been 1990, I suppose. But in, in many ways, the 90s didn't start till like Pulp Fiction came out, in my opinion. He's 80s. I'm 90s. 
Yeah, that's true. 80s boy. I don't, my wife always tries to make it seem like we have the largest possible age gap when we're literally like three. Four. We're three Four. years. Four. We're three years. Just because I'm not going to let you Apollo me and just talk louder and then I'll give up, okay? Four years. It's, it's, you were born in 1992. I was born in 1988. Yeah, that's four. But I was born in November, and you were born the second week of January. That's six weeks. It's like three years and six weeks. And now she's trying to make it out to be like ten years. Like I'm an like I'm an '80s kid, and then she's a '90s kid. I was born like 13 months before 1990 started, and she was born like the second week of 1992. That's, and she's trying to make it seem like there's a 10-year age gap you are between 80s us. Kid and I'm, not I'm not an 80s. I'm, I am a 90s kid. I'm more than a 90s kid than you because I lived through the whole 90s. <laughs> I, never... I lived through 13 months of the 80s. I wasn't. I wasn't doing anything. You were doing stuff. You got bit by a dog. No, that was in the 90s. <laughs> the, the dog biting me on the hip might have even been in the 2000s, honestly. I'm still old, like I, I can't deny that, but <laughs> I'm just saying like I'm, I'm old, but I'm not like that old. Same difference. What about Corey? I don't even know. Corey's old. Corey is old. He, isn't even, he doesn't even know what a giat is. Well, I think he was born in like 1983 or something, but That is pretty old when you think about it, or even if you don't think about it at all, honestly. <laughs> I was born in 1983. Yeah, you're old too. What's funny, I'm sure Corey can relate to this, or maybe he took offense, in which case I should apologize, but it's so funny because I remember being in this position myself. But, like, people are calling me old as if, like, it's an insult that only applies to me and not to them. And I'm like, guess what, motherfucker? It's coming for you too, idiot. Enjoy it while it lasts. It's the same as all these people with, like, Vegeta hairlines making bald jokes. But somehow it's like, if you make a bald joke at my expense, it's not offensive because I'm bald. But if I make a bald joke at your expense, it's offensive because you're balding and in denial. Like, it doesn't make any damn sense. That's like if somebody died, you could make a joke about them dying. But if someone was dying, you'd be like, hey, dead man, that's too far. I'm about to go through some shit. You're strong enough to take it? You don't know that. <laughs> I'm sure you'd like to think that. Yeah, give me this. It's nice of the cat to come down and leave like the hugest turd I've ever smelled in my entire life in my litter box. It's not, it's not my litter box, I guess, but you get the idea. Holy cow, what do they eat? It smells like deli meat. Kate, did you smell that? What the hell do they eat? It, it smells like, like, like summer sausage or something. It's horrible. It, it does smell like the, uh, it smells like a foot long turkey sandwich from Subway. I, I swear to you, with God is my witness, it smells like, not the bread, the bread smells good. It smells like the meat. The meat is horrible, obviously. Man, that is, that is nasty. <laughs> Holy, dude. I shouldn't have put this on anyway. Ooh. It's not even legally bred. Yeah, it's, listen, of all the things you can make fun of Subway for, and sorry for getting back into the discourse, of all the things you can make fun of Subway for, the bread is, is pretty tasty. I don't care that it's not real bread. It literally, like, it couldn't matter to me less. The subway, the, the bread is still tasty. It's aggressively mid. 
You know what offends me the most is that you're American. So like, you should enjoy the bread. I get it when somebody from like Slovakia is like, oh, the best bread is actually like, when you knock on it, it sounds like you're hidden oak. And it's like, hey, don't, don't buy any of that processed sliced bread at the grocery store. Instead, get a loaf that's shaped like a, a jacket button. When you slice it, it can't even fit in your toaster because the slices are like one inch tall and 27 inches long. You can't put, uh, you can't make a sandwich out of it because you'd have to fold a deli meat like 35 times just to fit on the sandwich. And as soon as you get the last piece of bread on top, the whole thing pops open like a jack in the box due to the potential energy. Like, let's not go too hard on Subway, okay? I, I mean, the, the sandwiches are not good. But the bread is okay. It's okay. This is the most N.A. take I've ever heard. Again, if you're European and you're insulting Canadian food, that's fine. If you're insulting American food, just make it make sense. Because anytime someone in Europe is like, check out what I had for dinner today, the shit is like a, a pork chop and like seven boiled peeled potatoes next to it. And then like a, a, a stein of Pilsner. And then you're like, that doesn't look good. And they're like, yeah, but it's the first Pilsner ever made. Like, just get over yourself, okay? Shit is like four gherkins and a, and a radish. Like, it looks like a Germa shitpost on Twitter. That's not all European food. That's not all European food. And yeah, and not all American food is a fucking cheeseburger and tater tots, okay? You can't have it both ways. Hearing N.A. talk about bread when they mean toast is so weird. This is, you don't even know. You have to, you have to, I know you don't have a passport because you can go to like 35 countries without a passport, which is incredible and I'm happy for you. You got to leave the Schengen area and experience the world, okay? That's such a minor thing to find funny. Like I'm almost embarrassed for you that you think that's funny. I can, I don't know how old I would have to be to think that that was humorous. I would have to be either 8 or 80. I'll tell you that, certainly that period in the middle that I'm in right now, I don't find it funny at all. My sense of humor is literally so sophisticated to you that it's like the monolith landing in prehistoric earth when the chimpanzees touch it. Like you can't even fathom what you're seeing right now and yet you're trying to lay hands upon it. That's what's funny to me. If by funny you mean tragic, and I often do. Your ass needs to get pill. Ooh, what a shop. <laughs> pill? Pill? Okay. I love the chat bullying. It's not bullying. It's literally like you're coming up to me going, give me your lunch money. And I'm saying, no, give me your lunch money. And then you're like, I'm just a guy, I'm just a guy. Oh, personal attacks, personal attacks at my expense. That's not how the internet's supposed to work. Now this is something. We need to get you out of here though. Holy cow. Let's go peanut mode. And like, honestly, you just, you shouldn't be on the squad, so I'm not gonna sweat your positioning. Holy. Did you really ask Corey if he's a 70s kid? Like, he's 40 years old. Like, he's old. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Corey, I'm sorry. It's just the damn truth. You know it. Like, it's not like it's a revelation to you, I hope. But like, how would just do that? It's 2023. How would he be a 70s kid? Doesn't even make sense. Can you get off of my team? I can't trust NL saying he has a good sense of humor when he said you have half of your mother's penis last week. That's just something where honestly chat loves to pretend that they're smart, but they're actually anti-science. 
half of the DNA inside of your penis came from your, from your mom. If you're not willing to reconcile that with like your own ick, then so be it. But that's a, a biological fact, okay? We don't have to go into it. We don't have to talk about it for 45 minutes, but I'm just saying your inability to accept it says something about it. Because I trust scientists and doctors, but apparently that's a bold take these days. Honestly, for now, I would rather send this. Four Squad Philip has logged on. Big whoop. Big whoop. Two, four squad, ten pieces in a row. Hang on, I should talk to the people in the Discord and say I'm going to be around for Jackbox. Wait, wait, wait. I would love to do Jackbox. Sorry, I didn't RSVP. Oh. Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, oh, I hate this motherfucker. Mm, how about this? How about this? I right clicked by accident. Uh, I'll say, feel pretty comfortable that my ass is not going to be in rush hour three. Okay, bad start. Hmm, how about a concerned rascal?